Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Burn Video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing the three habits each and every guy should actually avoid in his life. So if you're a guy watching this video, you want to watch the whole video because if you're making one of these mistakes and you're actually doing one of these habits daily, this can literally prevent you from making gains in all aspects of your life in the short term, but also in the long term. As you guys know, I'm not here to waste your time. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, and now the first thing I want to talk about is simply waiting for the right time. There's so many people out there, and I'm definitely gonna link this back towards skinny guys, which is more of my audience, who are always waiting for the right time. Like, you guys see this, there's some cars in the back, there's a dude a little bit ahead of me. You know, some people would always wait for the right time when nobody's watching, so I can start filming when nobody will cross your road, so you can actually, you know, approach that girl without anybody looking at you when you might get rejected, you know. My sound literally cut off because of the wind, it gets better over time, so we'll go outside in a minute. But like, yeah, literally trying to look for the best time, trying to look for that right time. The right time will never come. There will never be a time when you feel 100% ready to approach a girl, to approach a girl in the gym, to talk to those new friends that you, you have to make, quote unquote, to go to the gym as a skinny guy and feel confident around these other people. Like you will always have this thing holding you back. You will never feel confident enough to go to the gym. You might never feel you know, financial free enough or you might never have the money to invest in yourself. The best day to get started was yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. The next best time to start is right now. Stop looking for this best time and when the stars align because what if it never happens? Then you have the pain of regret. It's either the pain of discipline right now of taking action or the pain of regret later on. Take action and don't wait for the right time. You know, the second thing I wanna share is to not compare yourself to others. I have a quick little thing recorded outside when the mic was still working and I'll uh, come back in a second. Like I would always try and find this one reason when comparing myself to others to why I was doing worse. And this simply triggers to me at least like the self-compassion thing. I don't know if it's like a real world uh, word in English, but it simply triggers the emotion of feeling sorry for yourself. And that's the last thing I, I personally want to reach is feeling sorry for myself. So my recommendation is simply to not compare yourself to others, as I already mentioned in this video. So watch it when it comes down to skinny guys trying to gain weight. But in general, use others to compare yourself to them and let that fuel you. You know, the other dude is also just from a normal country and, and actually took action and that's why he's now gaining weight, has this good physique or is in the financial position he's in. Don't look at them and compare yourself to them, let them inspire you and take some action. I completely agree with myself of like two, three hours ago, like literally the mic was killing me, but at the same time you don't have to compare yourself to others. Like let it just fuel you. It's so easy to be jealous of other people. Um, I had this back in the day when somebody's YouTube channel would grow faster than mine. I would be like, okay, but he's lucky and it's because of this and because of that. I'm trying to like compare my situation to as of why I'm doing better slash worse than other people. And it simply really like F switch your mind. You have to also realize that people put out things on social media that they're very proud of. I won't really like post a picture of me looking too bad. Like I will share my physique in the morning, but at the same time, you're comparing yourself to people who look perfect on social media, who look perfect in whatever, and you only compare yourself with the good ones. You never really compare yourself with the bad ones. Now there's one big tip I can give and that I wanna repeat, and it's the following. You have to compare yourself to yourself. You have to compare yourself to yourself from yesterday. I personally just jumped off four client calls. Four client calls, I'll post some of my uh, Instagram highlights from this day on the screen because I've really been working these days. I'm doing better than myself yesterday. I'm doing more things. I'm putting more bricks down to build that big castle each and every single day to get that swimming pool on the line and get that nice car. You know, I'm really working towards it. So I'm comparing myself to myself from yesterday. As I mentioned, let other people inspire you. Let other people fuel you. If they can do it, you can do it too. The only thing you need for YouTube is to be able to talk in front of a camera, have your ears and have your mouth, that's it. That's it, no excuses. So don't compare yourself to others. That's one of the worst values and habits uh, guys can have because you're on your way, you're trying to find your path in the society. So compare yourself to yourself from yesterday and level up. And this all comes together beautifully into my last point, which is hiding from the truth. That's the last thing guys, stop hiding from the truth. Stop hiding from the damn truth, man. Like back in the day, and I will refer to skinny guys quickly. Like I used to think that I wasn't gaining weight because my genetics were bad, you know, because, you know, 
whoever is above here like decided to give me bad genetics. I was hiding from the truth. The truth was that I simply didn't know how to gain weight and build muscle and I wasn't actively taking action. You can blame the, the school system or whatever for you not making too much money. You can blame your raise or your whatever. But at the same time, you're probably hiding for the truth, from the truth. You are probably not taking action towards your goals and that's why you're not gaining weight. That's why you're not financially free. That's why you're not talking to the girls you want to talk to because you're not leveling up as a person. Like I have to be honest with you, like I'm not going to sweet talk any of this because I also don't sweet talk myself. I have mentors in my life, in business, in other parts of my life when it comes down to learning from other people and they will never ever hide the truth from me because that's what you need to level up. That's what you need to level up. Sometimes you have to be very candid with these people and I want to be candid with you guys as well. I want to be real, okay? And you guys have to reflect on yourself. Are you hiding from the truth, yes or no? When you have the best test, when you have like a bad task done at work, like when your boss is mad at you, is it your fault? Are you hiding from the truth, yes or no? So the thing is stop hiding from the truth. Stop blaming other things and other factors that really like don't contribute towards a problem when you are the problem you're hiding from the truth and more importantly as a you know counter thing to it take responsibility we're not five years old anymore take responsibility i don't care where you come from i don't care who you are everybody has to put in the damn work and take responsibility to get towards his goals take responsibility and take that action or you will be stuck in the same place don't blame others, don't blame family, don't blame your own race, I don't really care. I'm in a privileged position in a good education system, in a good country, but at the same time, I know that if you stop hiding from the truth and you actually take responsibility, a lot of effing stuff is happened, like can happen. That's how I gained weight, that's how I'm building my first business, that's how I'm growing my YouTube channel. When I uploaded 50 videos, when I had a YouTube channel for five years straight, let me post a quick picture, V-Level, don't check out that channel, 300 subscribers that's like five years ago you know i grew it to like 1.4 and then i stopped i was like you know nobody's watching my videos i'm doing all of this work i was hiding from the truth my content wasn't good enough i wasn't niched down my thumbnails titles everything was bad that's why i wasn't growing as i wanted to i was hiding from the truth i was blaming the algorithm i was blaming whoever okay stop blaming the others start blaming yourself take some responsibility and make some gains speaking about responsibility Take your responsibility, scroll back to the comments, go to my channel and quickly subscribe to the channel. Alongside helping you guys gain weight and build muscle, I also want to share these life tips. When it comes down to self-improvement, you don't always have only like the physical aspect, you have the financial aspect, you have the social aspect, you have the self-development aspect. That's also something I want to work on throughout this channel. So be sure to like and subscribe to this, you know, to this channel. If one, you can accept some feedback. Two, you're not hiding from the truth and three, you're not looking for some watered down BS because that's definitely not what I'm producing. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Three habits a guy should stay away from. See you on the next video. Let's make it case.